Hi, in this video I am going to explain what the debt to capital ratio is with a numeric example. The ratio of total debt to total capital measures the percentage of the firm's capital provided by the debt holders. To keep things simple, this ratio can also be referred to as company's debt ratio. This ratio has different implications for different groups of stakeholders of a firm. For example, creditors prefer low debt ratios because the lower the ratio, the greater the cushion against creditors' losses in the event of liquidation. However, stockholders may want the ratio to be higher because it can magnify expected earnings. We measure the debt ratio as total debt over total capital where total capital is the sum of total debt and equity. Let's take a simple numeric example to understand this better. Case Kitchenware has a market to book ratio equal to 1. Its stock price is $12 per share and it has 4.8 million shares outstanding. The firm's total capital is 110 million and it finances with only debt and common equity. What is the debt to capital ratio? Let's bring back the formula of debt to capital ratio. As total capital equals total debt plus equity, total debt equals capital minus equity. In the formula, replace the total debt with capital minus equity and rearrange the formula. You get debt to capital ratio equals 1 minus equity over capital. Now, Calculate market value of equity as stock price times shares outstanding, which is 57.6 million. Since market to book ratio equal 1, the company's book value of equity is also 57.6 million. After plugging the number in the equation, the debt to capital ratio comes out as 47.64%. The source of this numeric example along with the video link of other similar problems are given in the video description below just in case you want to check those out as well thanks for watching